welcome back. Today we're talking about detail sprays or quick detailers. Now, there's different kinds of detail sprays, quick detailers. Some are just plain spray. They wipe smudges, fingerprints, a little bit of dust. They got lubrication, um, maybe some enhancers in them. So then you have other kinds that have like graphene or acrylic or SiO2. And those are a little bit more complicated because those products you have to use in a certain way. You can't use them in the sunlight. They're not sun friendly, you know, um, all kinds of different detail sprays. I wanna show you my car, the condition it's in and when you can use quick detailers or detail sprays. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get into this. This is gonna be a quick one. So here's my car. It looks clean. It looks super clean. Everything nice and shiny. Well, the truth of the matter is I just washed it three hours ago and I let it sit outside. So a little bit of dust has accumulated on it. Not a lot, you won't be able to notice it. Would I rub my hand across it? No, I'm not gonna do that. But this is the time sometime today of leaving it outside to use a detail spray. Now the detail spray, what's it gonna do? It's gonna take off that dust. Any type of water spots that were left on it after the wash, it's gonna leave a nice gloss, some slickness. But remember how clean my car was. Quick detailers and detail sprays, they're not really for waterless washing. They're just for light bits of dust, fingerprints, water spots after the wash. So how do we use this? Well, I'm gonna take the car out. I didn't add anything to it after the wash. Now I want to, so get your spray, add a couple sprays. You can spray a lot of it, it depends on what kind of product. This doesn't have any SiO2 or anything on it, so you can, you can spray all you want. It's gonna be fine. Now, I've got that there. I'm gonna get my towel. Now this is one of Ken John's towels. One of the viewers that sent me some, some product here. I'm gonna spray this towel a little bit, get a little bit moist. I'm gonna spray this side as well. Now both sides are wet. I'm gonna use my waterless washing technique and I'm gonna wipe because I know there's dust on there. This towel is a little bit thick for this, but nonetheless, I'm wiping and just getting any of the dust off there. I'll flip the towel over, come back, wipe down some more. Now, I've got it all rubbed in. I'm gonna flip to a dry side and I'm just gonna rub down and buff out any residue. Very simple. I can feel it underneath, nice and slick. Feels good, wow, awesome. I love this detail spray from Adams. Really just feels amazing. My hand is just gliding on the paint. Once again, we've got our detail spray. We're gonna throw a couple nice sprays on here. A little bit on the towel. We're gonna get it. We're gonna do a wipe from side to side. Now mind you, it's not very dirty. It was just washed. So just a little bit of dust on there. We're not worried about any dirt that's accumulated on there. We're just going for gloss. Now we're gonna flip the towel over and we're gonna buff. Beautiful. Excellent, very fast. You've added some gloss enhancement, some slickness. I mean, you're ready to take it out.
All right, guys, that's my quick video on when to use a detail spray and how I use a detail spray. Usually I'll do this right after a wash, but today I was busy. I had to leave it outside. It's still okay to use it. I wasn't driving in the car around and get a lot of dust and dirt on it. Very simple, easy, effective to use. The Adams detail spray, the, this pink one, smells like strawberry. It's very slick after you put it on. The gloss looks amazing. Very, very nice detail spray here, guys. And Ken, thanks a lot for the towel. I love using it. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next one.